three, two, one. Boosters in ignition. And liftoff of Artemis One. Liftoff for Artemis One. To the moon and beyond. Third time lucky, the Artemis One mission, a test flight without astronauts that will orbit the moon, was successfully launched in Florida in the early hours of Wednesday morning. But it was not all plain sailing. A fuel leak threatened to derail the launch for a third time. Engineers managed to fix the problem, much to the relief of the 100,000 in attendance. Many had traveled well in advance to Cape Canaveral in Florida in order to watch the launch, which represented a once in a lifetime opportunity and a chance to witness history. Too little for the Apollo mission, so I wanted to come down to see the next um, launch is going to go to the moon, so I wanted to be here in person. The capsule, the Orion, will detach from the rocket shortly after takeoff and make its journey towards the moon, which will take several days. Rather than landing on the moon, it will assume a distant orbit, venturing 64,000 kilometers beyond the far side. A mission which will last 25 days, with a splashdown in the Pacific Ocean on the 11th of December. The launch is NASA's first stage in a plan to put humans on the moon for the first time in over 50 years, something which, if all goes to plan, will take place with the Artemis III project in 2025, with NASA eventually hoping to establish a base on the moon. And beyond that, Mars, with NASA hoping to send astronauts to the Red Planet sometime in the next 20 years.